Hello, my name is Steve, and today I'm going to go through a video demonstration of Adobe Sign for Salesforce. Now here at Adobe, we're incredibly proud of our integration into Salesforce, which has five stars on the App Exchange with over 3,000 reviews. And it requires no code setup whatsoever in order to get started. Simply log into your Adobe Sign account inside of Salesforce, and that will automatically make the connection between your Adobe Sign account and your Salesforce environment. Today's video demonstration is designed just to be a high-level overview of Adobe Sign for Salesforce. And if you did require more of a technical deep dive on the subject, perhaps setting up agreement templates and data mapping, for example, please do seek out some of the other videos I've recorded on that subject. But for today, we're going to keep it very, very simple. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send a document out for signature. And we can do that from with directly within the opportunity object inside of Salesforce. We're going to send out a fictional sales order, for example, to a customer. I'm going to show you what the customer will see on their end and how they're able to go through and sign that agreement. And then finally, what I'll do is I'll jump back into Salesforce and show how we can track that agreement and show you some of the details we get back on any documents that are currently out in flight for signature. So with that, let's now get started. So here I am inside of Salesforce Classic. Now, Adobe Sign for Salesforce will also work with the Lightning experience, and the experience will be exactly the same. And we drive the process from within a button or an option inside of the opportunity layout. So I'm going to jump into an opportunity that I'm currently working on here. And this is called the Burlington Textiles Weaving Plant Generator. And the use case here is we would like to send Jane Taylor, our lead contact on the opportunity, a sales order for signature. We're also going to ask Jane to enter in a PO number as well. And we're going to show how that data that she enters at time of signing can go through back into Salesforce. So the process is driven from this button here that I've added to the layout. And it simply says Adobe Sign Send. So if I click that, we're going to be asked, do we want to generate a new agreement? So we press OK. We see the preview screen where we're able to preview it one last time, check everything's OK before it goes out for signature. And we can finalize the document that is attached. And you can also finalize some of the recipients as well. So you can see, sure enough, Jane has been added. I've got a handy link to add me if I needed to countersign, perhaps. And we're also even able to configure hosting signing for perhaps the first signer. Say I was in the same room as Jane Taylor. I could take my device and turn it round, perhaps, and uh, have Jane sign using this laptop here. Not going to do that. I'm going to show the message that Jane will be receiving. And Adobe Sign for Salesforce, in the message field here, we support Salesforce variables. So the name of the account has been added, the amount that Jane's going to be invested, and of course, the opportunity owner has been added automatically. So we don't need to type that. Our files have been added automatically. And you can see here, this is a Microsoft Word document that I've uploaded here, uh, already been pre-attached. And it's a sales order template that we all use to send agreements out. Everything looks OK here. Let's just press Send now. And this is immediately sent out for signature. So our sales order has now been sent for signature. Let's have a look and see what our customer will see inside of their email inbox. And you can see Jane has an email in her inbox. Let's open it up. And these are our default Adobe Sign email templates. And we're able to change the branding here if we would need to do that. We can remove all mentions of Adobe Sign should that be necessary. We can even add in a custom footer down at the bottom here, drop in some privacy icon, uh, privacy policy or, or maybe some social icons that you, uh, your company uses. Jane's message is here. And she clicks on her blue link and is taken straight through to signing. So what's happened there is Jane has not been asked to sign up for an account at all. She's never even heard of Adobe Sign, and that's not a problem. She will always be taken straight through to signing here. And this is our sales agreement. 
But what's happened at the top here is you can see that the data from the Salesforce opportunity has been mapped onto our agreement here. So Jane's company name, the address, all the contact details, her name, her email address, and the company website, and the amount that she is going to be investing from the opportunity object inside of Salesforce has been added to this agreement too, automatically. Scrolling down, we're gonna enter in a PO number. So to show there's no smoke and mirrors, let's put in today's date, which is of course, I'm recording this on the 9th of May, 2019. That will be our PO number. Scrolling down, still two more required fields. And you can see this is where we of course need to enter in Jane's job title. She works in IT and she will need to sign our agreement. So she pops a click in the box and is able to do so. Now she has four options for signing her agreement. The first of which is to enter Jane's name using the keyboard here. The second of which is to draw her signature using the mouse or the trackpad, which I'm just gonna do that now, JT. The third of which is to upload an image to represent her signature, maybe a photograph of a wet ink signature on a piece of paper. Snap that and use that to represent your signature. And finally, she can send an SMS to a mobile device. Take that device, turn it sideways, sign using her finger, and the signature will come immediately back to this laptop so that we can continue. What I'm gonna do is just type Jane's name and press apply. And her signature has been added to our agreement. She's ready to submit this now, but I asked the question very quickly, what would happen if Jane did not want to sign off on this? Maybe there was a mistake and it's not what they had agreed on the phone perhaps. If we drop down alternative actions here, she can choose I will not e-sign. Enter in a reason, and click decline and this will of course cancel our transaction and we will get an email notifying us that this has happened. However, Jane is happy and she clicks on her blue button and that document has now been signed. So our sales order has now been signed. Let's jump back into Salesforce and see how we're able to track that document now. Returning back to our opportunity now, and what we are able to see here is that the PO number that Jane had entered has automatically been added in for us. And you'll see that the stage of our agreement, uh, excuse me, our opportunity has advanced to 100% closed one. And again, that has happened automatically once the agreement has been signed. Scrolling down, inside of the Adobe Sign Agreements object that's been added inside of our opportunity, the signed copy of our agreement can be downloaded from here and you will see that we sent it out today on the 9th and the status that it is returned back as is signed. So you will be able to see here at a glance what the current status of your Adobe Sign agreements are without even leaving Salesforce. That was Adobe Sign for Salesforce. And I hope you agree it was an easy to use interface there where your sales teams will click on that send for signature button from directly within inside their opportunity. They'll send their sales order out. And I showed you how easy it was to sign and how we can even take data at time of signing and pass it back into Salesforce. Finally, we went through and showed you how we were able to track documents that are currently out in flight. So now I would urge people to seek out a 14 day free trial of Adobe Sign. Try it out for yourself inside of Salesforce and see just how much value you're able to gain from implementing electronic signatures with Adobe Sign for Salesforce. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.